Reboots. We've seen them. We hate them. We fear them. Sometimes we enjoy them. We let them slide. And on the rare occasion, they surpass the original interpretation. But for the most part, they are a bane on my existence and many others. And Amazon is hell-bent on making things oh so much worse. They have a plan, ladies and gentlemen. And that plan is reboot domination. Let's begin. Deadline recently dropped a knowledge bomb on us, and I'm going to just read verbatim what this thing says. It's not, it's not good. In fact, it's pretty ugly. Let me, let me dive in. MGM's extensive film and TV catalog, built over the past century, was the main driver behind Amazon's $8.5 billion acquisition. That's a big word. Of the storied Hollywood studio. For the past year, since the deal closed in March of 2022, Amazon Studios has been sifting through the MGM library, identifying about a dozen initial titles for film and or TV development, including, and here's where it gets ugly, Robocop, Stargate, Legally Blonde, I don't, I don't care about that, Fame, Barbershop, The Magnificent Seven, Pink Panther, and The Thomas Crown Affair. What are we even doing anymore? The Thomas Crown Affair? Who's asking for this even? Who are these people? It goes on. Each title is being approached differently. Some are being steered toward film, some toward TV, and some big ones are getting both movie and TV treatment. For instance, Amazon Studios is in active early conversation on Legally Blonde, both as a movie and Potential TV series. Potential, of course, short for potential. This is why you subscribe to this channel. Amazon has similar plans for Stargate. We hear both film and TV installments are considered likely a movie is going to be first. Hmm. Robocop being talked about for both film and TV with the TV show possibly first. This is just, I, can we not make new stuff? And then of course there is the Creed deal, which is going on. You might've caught wind of that already. Um, Michael B. Jordan has those movies coming out, but there's also spin-offs. Sylvester Stallone himself, the man, the myth, the legend, Rocky Balboa, the Italian stallion, has signed off. He's, he's, he's come up with a deal with these guys to make more Rocky spin-off type things that are going to go to Amazon or wherever nightmares are born. And it doesn't stop, of course, with Amazon. There's a Baywatch movie in the works or a TV show. Who knows anymore? I remember it wasn't that long ago there was a Baywatch movie with The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, Zac Efron, um, there's certain properties that there's an expectation. If you make a Baywatch movie or TV show, why don't you put focus on the female body? Because that's kind of what the audience expects. Much like the Charlie's Angels franchise. Remember when they tried to do the Charlie's Angels reboot a couple years back and no one saw it? Because even though the actresses were beautiful, they didn't really show them off in that way. Um, they made it seem more like a strong female lead movie for ladies only. And frankly, it's about time. There's also scuttlebutt. That's a word that people said at one point in time, back in the day, that the Lord of the Rings, the untouchable Lord of the Rings is going to be touched in all the wrong places by Amazon in the next few years. Not just the rings of power. That's fine. Let that trash be. It's got a second season coming out. I can't imagine the numbers are going to be great as that show went on, which I was pretty high on for the first two episodes. I had a good first impression. I was also very blinded by the Peter Jackson masterpiece trilogy of old. And I like the Hobbit movies. I, I, I eat it all up. So Rings of Power, I'm like, I will give this a chance. I have to be back in Middle Earth. Take me there, Amazon. And they really didn't. They kind of took me halfway and left me on the ditch on the side of the road to die. And then that show just dragged its lifeless corpse to the finish line. And by the end of it, there's only like 30% of the people still watching. So good luck with season two. And very, very good luck with a potential new Lord of the Rings trilogy. I have no idea what they're thinking. There are certain films that are such a lightning in a bottle, magical experience. I just don't see the point. 
in trying to replicate that all over again. You have to get a perfect cast, you have to get a tight script, the right director, and you have to hope to holy hell none of these people die or go to jail in between movies. This is a financial risk on all accounts. Movies like Star Wars, Indiana Jones, Jaws, these are films that are just so good. They're damn near perfect to begin with, kind of like Harry Potter, which is being redone now. I don't, I just don't see it. Uh, and that's going to lead us to the next conversation, which is Disney, but I just have one more thing to say, and that's Back to the Future is very much going to, at some point, get rebooted or get the, the Jurassic World treatment or the Star Wars trilogy sequel treatment. It's going to happen. And the creator, the, the, the guy that owns the rights, Robert Zemeckis, knows this. There's a great article, it's from a while back, but I haven't talked about it ever. He's asked by, I don't know who, Telegraph it says, is a Back to the Future movie gonna happen? And he said basically, over my dead body. And he's like, it's gonna happen when both me and Gail are dead. He actually said it appropriately, he said Gail and I. And then I'm sure they'll do it, unless there's a way our estates can stop it. So Zemeckis, who unfortunately lately has been putting out some pretty bad movies, he is hell-bent on keeping this thing contained because he even looks back and says, listen, Back to the Future, it's a great movie still. Certain movies stay great. They just do. And um, we can tell news stories, right? We don't have to rely on old IPs because there's already a built-in fan base. I know that's the easy, lazy way out. That doesn't make it right. Make another movie that's like Back to the Future, but called something different, with a different plot. You can still travel through time. It's not that complicated. It's not that deep. But what are you thinking? I wanna know in the comments. Let me know, are you a fan of this? Do you like the more reboots the better? Of course, every once in a blue moon, one is was better than the original. There's been multiple versions of Invasions of the Body Snatchers. Somewhere in the middle, they got it perfect. It's the uh, Donald Sutherland one, I believe. I love that one, and I don't believe that's the original. The Thing, but for the most part, they're just not very good. And even so, like, come on. They're also talking about redoing Poltergeist. Poltergeist? Are you out of your mind? Keep it where it's at. It's a classic. Let me know your thoughts though. I wanna hear from you. Maybe you're thinking, yeah, I want a new Robocop. The one from the 80s, it's too campy now. It doesn't hold up anymore, even though they tried doing a different Robocop and it sucked. I have no problem if they wanna do more stuff with Robocop. I just don't like the idea of just re-skinning re the whole thing. It just, it just doesn't work hardly ever. All right, those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours. Like the video if you had some fun. Please subscribe if you haven't. I post tons of movie and TV content each and every week. Love to have you stick around. Take care.